Okay, this is uh, understanding Elon Musk and uh, with an explosive uh, beginning. Uh, I heard the interview with Walter Isaac, with uh, Farid uh, Bessahi uh, and other people. Uh, it was uh, the long version and the short version. And I also did some research. One of my first um, uh, podcasts or messages about on this channel was about uh, Stephen Blank. And uh, uh, this is from a Kaiser called, uh, uh, a company called uh, Rocket Science. And he had a second man, uh, I forgot the name, but uh, those two per persons. And with this interview, it reminded me something else. Uh, uh, Larry uh, Anderson, of the, the CEO of uh, uh, Oracle. So why I'm making this uh, thing? So listen again to this interview and listen to Walter Isaac. And then listen specifically to Larry Anderson. They avoid it. They avoid talking about Larry Anderson. If you look in the history of Mr. Elon Musk, he talks about doing research for solid state uh, research. He does not talk about rocket science. What did he do there? A little bit is no. Had it influence on his life? People don't think so. Does Larry Anderson has influence on life? They think so, maybe millions, but nothing is much is told about it. And that is now where people that want to imitate or want to do the same as Elon Musk, eh, you have these classes, eh, you want to be Elon Musk, the 10 things of Elon Musk, all those screaming uh, videos about uh, what Elon Musk does, what makes it separate, he's talking about is all nonsense. First, Elon Musk is a savant, he's different from other people. So imitating a savant is not possible. Okay, then you can say, okay, does he is genius? He, he thinks of himself, a new invention, new way of uh, management, new way of approaching, oh, this is my computer. Savant, can somebody as a savant do this? No, they cannot. They are very good copiers. So, now we lift up a little bit the lead, lead, lead of the, the lead of the, of the bucket. What's going on? People are telling things and you would expect that Elon Musk would uh, openly talk where he has his idea, how to start his companies. Uh, does he invent it? He says a little bit of yes, and, but he's not clear about it. And uh, what is the sponsoring, etc. There's a little bit and hazy about it. And if you look at Walter Isaac interview, he talked about all those things. But, and again, all the people asked all the same questions. And even the people that were, they were introducing, I work for the military, do this and this and this. And then they ask it. Nonsense. What is Elon Musk doing? Eh? First thing is, he's always reading books. Always reading books. So, where does he get his ID? Everybody, all oh, from, uh, from uh, Asitov, uh, the robot. So, is there something that Elon Musk does that people all skip or they just ignore it? He's reading books. What kind of books? So, now comes the secret. And I already told it in videos before this, in podcasts before this. Look at the management team of rocket science. Who are these people? You find the CEO. Stephen Blank. That is my first giveaway. Look what this guy did. This man developed a way to, to uh, start to, for startups how to begin. What kind of method for products, etc., etc. Look up internet, look up Google, look up YouTube. Follow this person. And if you look at further in this uh, company, this rocket science, you find another person. His right hand at that time. Look up what he did. Uh, I will not give that away. It has to do something with robotics. But look it up. Do your homework. Uh, if you want to know where uh, you want to become Elon Musk, look up those two persons. And then there is this mystery man, Larry Anderson. Uh, the samurai of the IT industry. Yeah, uh, well-known uh, stories about it. Uh, I'm thinking even to write a book about it. A small book. Just from the, in the information is there. I don't do this research half a year or six years following this. I will make a, a compact overview. Because 
it's out there if you're really logical and you can think as a normal person you can tie up the pieces why Elon Musk is special and what does he does I think I'm almost 100% sure of it he is just connecting pieces to each other why do I think that is he not a genius is he not special is he not if you look at Tesla why did he start Tesla he had this idea of electric cars a long 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 time then with uh, with one of his friends they will make this on a napkin they were writing this something and they said okay now it is time to start an EV company he what he did is that he looked at the available technology that was out there yeah, nickel catrium uh, the lithium batteries were there the previous model from GM was not working on lead batteries and not a nickel so he saw when he started that it was possible to make an electric car with the technology that was there if he would also put it in one big pot stir the pot he can make an electric car he then only knew that he only had to tweak the little bit the chemistry of these lithium batteries uh, a little bit of the, the electronics to charge them and to uncharge them and a little bit of here a little bit there the chassis and he thought okay it's possible to make an, uh, an, an car an electric car that can beat an ice car and at the long term he was thinking uh, uh, electricity will rule the world and, uh, and with all these green things etc so to accomplish this here is uh, one of the secrets he tells he has this company uh, motto or what is it he starts something and he has an idea let electrify the whole world and he builds then uh, electric uh, electrifies uh, transportation and that's why he built this this uh, an energy that's why he built uh, tesla and he's following this so to to accomplish this goal he does this so he buys uh, uh, solar panels uh, batteries invest electric cars transportation stuff but he also uses the tricks to make money to realize this goal the same you can see with uh, star uh, with star uh, with, uh, with with uh, Falcon, with uh, uh, SpaceX, that he now uses st uh, Starlink as a printing uh, machine for, at the end, putting Starship to Mars and financing that thing. He first built this Falcon 1, Falcon 4, uh, and Falcon 9. He thought this business can be good, but you see now that he is launching mainly his, uh, his web, uh, his, his internet in space. That will be the milk cow. So he thought first he could make money with space, with rockets, loaders, space, uh, sending stuff in space for satellites, uh, connecting to space. They didn't make money enough. He found out now a long time that the printing machine was Starlink. Everybody will use it in the world for internet. That money he can re he's still reinvesting in a starship and that will create the money to build something on Mars or further projects for his space thing. For the cars, it is the same. He started also what he said uh, with uh, this expensive car. And what he then realized was fabrics are more important than making a car or doing. Yeah? The fabric is important. So you see also with SpaceX, he says, I'm not building a spaceship or not a model. I'm building a factory that can make spaceships. He's making a fabric that can make electric cars or uh, other uh, uh, what is it, uh, batteries. So he's now totally focused on that thing. So he is pivoting in his thinking and what the real goal is for this. He will be, I think, uh, if you want to unite uh, all his companies under one uh, goal, it is fabrication. I can make anything to, against the lowest price there is, with a little bit of profit, and, that, and because we can make it high tech and we can make it fast and cheap, everybody in the whole world can uh, take advantage of it, and it is out there. Because this fact that he wants to do and he wants to go, all the technology has to be there. So there is no invention. Nothing had to be invented for, for SpaceX, for uh, Tesla to reach his goal. And if it would be invented, it would be handy, it would be optimized better, or it, it will be a follow-up in the development of his factory or his product. And these things will occur uh, like an uh, evolution 
of the product, it, it will evolute the some of the technology and new products or new inventions will spring out of that. But it was not this idea, first I do an invention and with this invention I will make a product. He used the components out there, smashed them together, makes the product and that is still how he is working. Because it is not about him inventing a car or inventing a starship. It is His goal is get people on Mars or make electric for everybody. Also, what you, you, what you hear and uh, what, uh, what the realization now is, is he, he wants to electrify everything and uh, electric cars, etc. He is now, he finds out there are some big problems. Especially, all electricity that is now generated has to be three times more. What I already said, if you have a city that you want to uh, power up with electricity, if you want to do it uh, all electricity, you have to do it at least three times as more, uh, more than now is, because uh, the sun is not there. So elect if you want to do it with solar panel and with uh, green way, you need at least to produce three times more energy as there is now in the electricity cables. But if you want to tra all the transportation and everything where it is gasoline is used, now you can calculate how much energy that is, you can transform it in electricity, it goes, uh, it will be a factor not of three, but maybe a factor of 10, what I already said in previous videos. So what it needs, you need to expand the whole generation of electricity. So we need to, now the technology that we have now for electricity, we need the new green uh, way of creating LNG, we need fusion, we need everything we can make. If we want to make all things electric, we need everything that can create electricity we need to use. Because if we really want to cut away fuel, that is the way. But his own research said also that 80% of the stored energy will not be in a battery, but will be in hydrogen. So then I said, okay, if you want, if you were logical, then you run things also on hydrogen. So you don't have to be, everything has to be electric. And I think you will see this. That is maybe also the why, why Toyota and some of the, the, the car companies are still interested in hydrogen cars and also for hydrogen trucks and hydrogen ships and that's why maybe also the European Union and America and all you see always those hydrogen products so these, this technology is not from the table and in the far future hydrogen will still be a candidate there now he for a starship he doesn't use hydrogen he uses something uh, metal or he uses other gas that's also available on Mars so you can also make that as a fuel source instead of hydrogen. But hydrogen, there are some advances, you can find it easier or there's a green way of it. And oil we always need for the plastics and all other kinds of materials, we still need the oil there. And you can also make hydrogen from oil hydrogen. Uh, so that is the, the, problem, uh, the product. So he uses, you must be aware, that he uses a smart way to make money to reach his goal. Now, it is not his goal, that's also interesting. It is his humanity role, it is his uh, what he is thinking about. Now, if you know a little bit about uh, history, and if you look like uh, Agilis and uh, the Greek met, uh, mythology heroes, eh? Hercules and uh, uh, old gods and old heroes in the in the in, in history, they didn't live to live in the time they lived. They were living for how they would be remembered. If you maybe look at uh, some of the movies of the uh, of, uh, of of Achilles and, uh, and the, what he said, he was the greatest warrior ever. Eh? This the guy who, who, who fights like enormous good. He said, "I'm not fighting for me or for my people. I'm writing myself. I'm fighting to be written in the history books, so that people hundreds of years, thousands of years, will always remember my name and my person in the books." That is, he, that is what those old heroes, those old famous people, uh, th that was their goal. If you look at Elon Musk, he is in, he is, what he is doing is he doing the same thing. He wants to make an impression on the world, on humanity. He wants to change everything to electric. He wants to go first to the Mars, the company to Mars. Uh, maybe there will be a connection to AI, and maybe uh, and later he will maybe invent uh, the AI, general AI. His goal, his ambition is to be remembered in the future. 
Stephen Jobs, Bill Gates, all those people don't think like that. They think at the now money or maybe maybe their next generation. But they, so Elon Musk has an idea of the old books he, he, he read about the mythology and the old Greeks and all those old civilizations. Those kings, those heroes, they lived not in that time that they lived for being recorded in the books and in the history of humanity. And I think that is the lesson that Elon Musk had. If he is really so intelligent and is really so good and he reads so much books, this will be his personal goal. He says also, I can give everything away. I give everything, uh, all my inventions or the things we develop, we give it away to other people. We share our electric charge uh, uh, network. We give this away. Everything can, everybody can use as long as it, he is, he has a thank you. You can see that a little bit about Tesla. Yeah? And sometimes he has to do something and people say, yeah, Tesla was not this, was somebody else. And he just took it over. He says, no, no, when I was there, there was nothing. And I built it up really. I am the really founder of Tesla. And if somebody is against it, he is very, 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 very uh, anti these people. Hey, you see this, and he is very frustrated because this has to do with his hero role. Eh? He wants to be written in the history, and that is that is something that is the the I think the 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 the, the driver of Elon Musk. Elon Musk wants to be remembered in the future, like the books he read. Eh? Why was this king Solomon known after two thousand years? Why is these pharaohs known after? 3000 years why is this person known or this ford the ford the the inventor of the 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 automated straight eh? the, the 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 automatization for uh, the, the the for the cars why is this person known not because of his inventions because there are a lot of other people that make some inventions and nobody knows them but what he did was something he changed for humanity and gave some a process that will gave uh, that, that lifted humanity in a higher level. And that is exactly what he wants to do. Eh? He is not selfish. He wants to push humanity in a higher level. That's the same what the things what they wanted to do, those old, old heroes wanted to do, and those old kings. They wanted to push their civilization up a step. And I think that is also what the real personal goal of Elon Musk is. He wants to push him, he wants to push the whole uh, humanity in a higher level and that they look back in the time and say wait we have Elon Musk help us humanity you can see that as an ego thing you can see that as a uh, like bad thing but it is not that is not bad it is not a bad meaning behind it this is just the way he thinks eh? that he read the books and he look, looks at history people uh, 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 shine in from a company that does something very good to save the company is not remembered only the CEO of the head in that time is, and even that CEO has to do something very special that everybody will know. It can be bad or good. Eh? Madoff did something very bad. He was a crook, but he is known in all history. And after 100 years, they still is known. So you can do bad things or good things to be known. Eh? The killer of uh, for some, uh, uh, from, some, some president will be known and will be famous out there in the history. But he cannot, it is much more difficult to be, do something good the inventor of the atomic bomb uh, uh, or something else uh, to be remembered and he wants to be remembered long when he is dead and and, and he that is his goal and he has the so and, and to to get those goals that he can level up society that are his company goals so he wants to do something with ai because he sees that in the neck that is possible that it will be the next level where he can push uh, humanity to EV cars, electrification, that will be something, and going off this planet and colonize uh, Mars, that will be something that he can do. Uh, he was there when there was the internet, that's why he stopped, because he thought maybe I can push up humanity by helping the internet. That is why he, I think the real reason why he stopped the university stuff, that he thought, okay, can I be in a, a thing? And then he had this PayPal and uh, he wanted to do something in finance. That is maybe the reason what, what the whole motivation of uh, of Elon Musk is probably in that direction. You have to look at it. And now comes the, the important things. So how can you do that? How can you become somebody that is remembered all over time?
you have to have a good memory, you have to be special, and he is special. So what did he do? He read many books. He became knowledgeable and he can remember flawless. If you look at the old uh, director of the CEO of uh, Rocket Lab, of the Rocket Science, this, uh, this was a gaming company where he worked, he followed him, became professor in how to start up. And this, this person, this professor, made a very interesting way how to do a startup, how to pivot in, uh, in, uh, in companies. He said the finance of the way you work in a startup is different from a company like uh, IBM or like a renowned uh, international company. If you are a startup, you have to have some other uh, genetic or some structure in your company to be always be pivoting and always be flexible to uh, just to the market, always interview your uh, your customers, always be in touch with your customers. Now, that's exactly what he is doing with Twitter. He's, he is getting feedback as main person of developer. And if he has some good ideas, he push it in a product and it will change in that way. This is exactly what Stephen Blank and, all, uh, and this thing is doing. Some directions, uh, I think he copied. And I think also Harry Larison, the, the CEO of uh, Oracle, had a very big influence in it on him. And maybe he uh, he he studied also what's not known. Eh? He was technician, engineer, but he also did finance, business. We don't hear anything about it. We now hear with the uh, Fed and with all this financial stuff that uh, he is not stupid. Uh, he has some very good ideas, but they are too different. It is too radical for some people. Or but he is not telling things that are not correct or not plausible or not false. He, already, he thought about it, but it is, this is maybe a still an unknown or maybe a secret power of him that he is very good in financial stuff and business. He said also uh, banking is not what people think. It is just a, uh, it is information. Eh? You, it is a computer system. And these computers are on old computers, uh, like cobalt computers, are old AS400 computers. It takes one day or three days to do transfer of money. And if you make this system different in real time, uh, then your whole big, your, you will pivot the whole banking system. And that is what he's want to do with PayPal. He failed. But I think his next thing, what he will try with Twitter, he will probably succeed in combination with some uh, ledger system, uh, with uh, Bitcoin. But that is all play. I think he's not even interested in Bitcoin or in all those uh, uh, crypt, uh, encryption, uh, what is it, uh, cryptocurrencies. This is not interesting. He just wants to have a system banking system that works much faster, more advanced than the systems we have now. And that thing already exists and he just has to implement it. Same as his car, same as space, same as everything else. Everything he does is just getting all the people in one direction, point them in the right direction, get all the technologies to work together and build it. If the technology is there, the products are there, you just have to combine it successfully with the people with smart minds build the, the, the product, test it and test it. That's also what Stephen Black did. You, you optimize the, the, how you put the thing together. And out of that, you will develop new uh, inventions maybe or uh, optimizations that were not there. And you will get the main thing is that you look at the, the, the price of what you put into the fabric, the, so the, the steel, the components, and then you look at what goes out in the price and those have to be in line. So he doesn't want to make like an enormous uh, profit. Uh, a nice uh, example is, for example, HP, uh, the printer inked. Uh, yeah, this inkjet printers, and uh, the 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 fluid for the for printing the colors is the the weight of it is more as a diamond of gold. It is the most expensive material in the world. It's totally nonsense because you it is to make this uh, liquid that you can print uh, things with is not that expensive at all. It's just pure profit. And that is what also Elon Musk doesn't like. He wants to give it a reasonable price. And then he thinks the, the mass, he, he, it, if you make something very special, uh, expensive and only a few people can use it, and it takes years and years and years for it to rain down to the group, this will not help humanity. He rather wants to make less uh, profit uh, and, uh, and give it to everybody. And then, of course, the, it, it, the money will be also bigger because he has more people. And at, at the end, it will be the same. He will have a lot of money. Uh, that's also the goal of people that have things that are very expensive. Huh? So he is thinking uh, uh, more at raising the, the, 
the humanity on a higher level. That's also why people are thinking, oh, why is he not, why is he changing the cars? Why are, why are they making cars only cheaper, cheaper? If he keeps the same price, he has the, the enough people that want his car, he can even increase the profit. Uh, why not make 30% profit on the car, sell, 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 profit will be bigger, 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 uh, and the, the company will be richer, richer, richer. But that is not what it is about. He wants to help everybody. He wants to help that a mother with two children that almost not have money can buy his safe car, his Tesla, for a cheap price. Because that helps people. He doesn't, he, it's nice to have a rich person that is billionaire or millionaire that can buy his cars. But he is more interesting to help everybody. And that, if you also can help those lesser fortunate people to buy his product, he can push out the other product, and that is what he also wants, that is this gasoline or this pollutant product. So to get rid of this pollutant product or climate change, he has to push the, 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 the bad products out of the market with a cleaner product, and that is what he, that is the whole idea he is doing. So he uses climate change and, and this green thing just to electrify, this is called electrify America or electrify the world and push, in that way he can push the whole civilization higher. It means he needs to more, uh, he needs to build more electricity and more stuff. Uh, there was a joke what uh, Walter Isaac also said, and this is not a joke because I studied electrics, I, elect uh, I studied electronics, I elect uh, telecommunication, uh, chip design, uh, electronic design, and also high power. So how power is really made and power uh, plants and uh, transformations etc. In that time I had to choose about electronics or high power, so how power is made, so I could go in a diff in direction of uh, high voltage and it is like 2000 volt or 25000 volt in this uh, design of this technology that is used for power plants or I have to go to electronics. So what I decided I used a little bit of telecommunication and this power plants, but, but my main was electronics, uh, components, and later I even specialized in microchips design. But I know when I studied about power plants, and he said for the joke, yeah, if we have to increase the power uh, in, the, in, the co in the country and in state, we maybe have, to, jokingly he said, maybe we have to build transformers. And this is not a joke. This transformer problem is bigger than people think. There is something in the Netherlands that we always said as, as engineers, as, as, if you studied like the power plant engineers, if you blow up all the transformators, so that the transform, uh, transformer in the, that makes in the power plant, the electricity is a much higher voltage. And you, 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 the first transformator that goes down a step, it goes to 20, 25,000 volt, and then it goes to 2000 volts, then it goes into the country, and then it goes even lower for the local area, and then it comes into your house. But this first step that you go from the power plant into the first net, uh, net to the high, high, high power net, there's a transformator there, a transformer, that transforms this high power to a lower power. Those transformers are very rare, because they only need per one per power plant. These things are not made often, and these things can be very old, uh, as old as the power plant itself, because nobody will, they will build extra ones or just one for... So, in a Japan there was an accident and some things blows up, and they had to wait three months for a, trans a transformer to be built, and they had to really rebuild it, because they didn't know how to build it. Okay, we know how to build and somebody in America built this thing, they flow it over with the ship, to Japan and they placed it here. Also, and I heard stories in the Netherlands and other times, sometimes these big transformers explode or they are destroyed by uh, some short circuit or something and they have to be replaced and that is very difficult. Can you imagine if five in one country, five or ten of them will be destroyed, it means the power plants cannot get rid of their electricity because they cannot pump it into the in the grid, in the network grid. And that's a solution for that is, of course, solar panels are locally uh, making a windmill. Windmills that are not that high power, uh, like a wind generator has, of course, high power, uh, maybe 20,000 uh, 20, volts or 5, 2,000 volts, and then it can go into the grid. But there are much bigger uh, transformers for, for power plants. And maybe for windmills, if they are high-powered windmills, they need also a very big uh, transformer, especially if you have a group. But these things are rare. Maybe what he said, maybe we have to build them. But 
there is a lot of innovation there. These things are very expensive and you can make a nice profit. And if you have batteries also in combination with that, there is a big market for that. And that was also, you can become very rich if you go to the high power of engineering of electricity, not in the small things, but in the high power things. There's also a lot of uh, things to do. There are very rare jobs. Not many people work in that area, but they are very important. And if you're an engineer, think about it. If you uh, like electronics, also think is, uh, again about the high power electronics. Uh, people die there <laughs> because it is very dangerous to do it. Uh, I worked uh, in a bottlery from, uh, I think, Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Heineken. And uh, there was a high, high power place, I think a 20,000 volt uh, uh, box. Uh, and you really have to go in a spacesuit that is uh, that protects you against lightning and against electricity. And you have sometimes to change fuses. If you want to change a fuse, you have to go in a spacesuit that will uh, protect you against electricity. It's all rubber, all protection. Very uh, looks very uh, dangerous. But that is so. There's a whole new world out there on this high power, uh, high power, high power grid in the grid itself has to be renewed. So the, I think in the future, if we need, the grid has to grow like three times or four times, the power has to be much more, more pumped into to this grid. It means we need more transformators, more, more engineers to doing this work. You cannot automate it by robots. This has to be all be done manual by humans. So I think there is a very nice thing for engineers in the future to do. Go into the high power stuff. The small electronics will be done by robots or will be so integrated in one chip that engineers are what not really needed. And those engineers don't build chips or not uh, print anymore. They may be designed and in the future will be designed by AI. But it is no, the labor will be all automated. But these things that has to be done outside that with high voltage in the grid, that is all manual. So maybe a tip for people that want to do something in electronics and in energy, go to the high power stuff, not to the, to the low or local uh, stuff. But I think you, if you want to, so the, 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 the big mistake is you cannot copy Elon Musk. Elon Musk thinks different as any human else. He's a savant. He has some, uh, he said, you don't want to change with me what I'm thinking. He's continuously thinking. And then they think, oh, people, oh, he's only sleeping four or five hours. I can do that. Uh, he runs so many uh, uh, companies and he can switch from one up. This is something unique. Uh, even uh, Steve Jobs or whatever didn't have this skill. And that is maybe... Uh, for him a skill, but maybe in the past it was an, uh, an, 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 not an, an advantage, but a big disadvantage. Because he, maybe if he would live 50 years before this time now, he goes crazy. Uh, he, could, he has so many things uh, he wants to do, but he cannot do it. And he is so lucky that he had the family, the support from his, from, his, from his mother and to become what he became. And he got the chances. And also I think Larry Anderson and other people supported him and saw that uh, what he could be or what he could uh, envision or what he could reach in, in, in out there and they supported him. And I think he he is just an, an, a, a rarity that it, everything fitted correctly like a puzzle for him. And I think maybe there are more people like him, but they are not so lucky. Yeah, they can have something happens with them or uh, something uh, they worked. For example, he was, what if, Elon Musk was sitting, he said, I'm for Netscape to work for an internet company. What if he was hired and became a salary man? This all would not happen. So he had to be not hired. And he said, okay, let's start my own company, PayPal uh, X. And sometimes some things have to go wrong that you can, I will do it my own way. And that's basically also PayPal without saying, oh, this is how he did it. You have to do it always your way. He didn't want to do it so way. He just wanted to have a normal job and a normal life. He came from Africa and from Canada and he just wanted to live and just want to do his thing and maybe later, but he was pushed by it. And this can be coincidence to people. This may be God or some, 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 uh, some, some non convinced of maybe he thinks I'm living in the matrix and this was all intended or there's something out there can be, but it can also be like coincidence, uh, statistically coincidence. There must be one pe person in the world that have all these things that fall, it, fall into each other like a puzzle. And this person in this case is, 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 is the case is Elon Musk. So, and some of the people are just a one day fly. Uh, you sometimes have a music uh, and poser that has a, a number one hit and he, he cannot repeat it. So the next hit he makes is not as big as the previous. We see with Elon Musk, because he is logical and he can do, he can 
he can redo it in other sectors. He cannot only do it with cars, he can also do it with space. And he also tried to do it later on with electronics. He came from electronics, yeah? so he will try to do it with Twitter and you will see that Twitter will become like a PayPal. A payment system will come in there, video comes in there. So you will see that he, got, he has this plan how to roll out a, a company, how to pivot, how to be flexible. And all his dreams, what he read when he was little, he, he can realize in those companies. And it goes from cars to space to electronics to AI, everything what he ever read and dreamed of, he can now realize with all these companies. And how? what is the secret source of it? And that's how still I want to say, look at Stephen Blank. How do you start a startup? And I think he was also so lucky to have him maybe as a CEO. And I think he has to have it had to have some influence of it because if you look how he starts up his companies and you do look at Stephen Blank, how he, what he, he teaches at Stanford, uh, what it, it cannot be a coincidence. And also this new way of doing stuff, uh, agile teams. Uh, agile teams, he was lucky when he was starting companies, this whole agile ID came from, started it. Uh, I myself, uh, did Agile before Agile was invented because I was an engineer and I was like one of the few engineers of the whole company. In that time there was not enough engineers when I was an engineer. So I had a, and I had a good friend, uh, the, 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 the owner, CEO was the friend, so I could manipulate the IT department. And I made already something like Agile before it was. Uh, Agile comes in the original from, uh, I think from, uh, from, uh, from, from Toyota. Uh, and that has to do with supermarkets. It has nothing to do with uh, electronics. But this idea of management and how to do this comes from a totally different uh, thing. And it is implemented into programming and implemented into IT later. But this thing, I all, it is something natural. Eh? Sometimes uh, management, the manager of some roles is not needed. It, it has to be self-management. Eh? An animal is also eh, like uh, if you have a queen with a beehive, this, eh, this is hive mind, but most of we are not hive mind. We not uh, we all are independent and we can manage our own task. And that is also, I think, how we see companies and, and, and in companies there has to be groups that can management themselves. And maybe this is the this was my idea. That's how I started to manage the all the parts has to management themselves, but also these departments have to management the whole company. So they have to all be like fractals of, of management, and they have to be independent. But they also have to enough every piece has to have enough power to change the whole company. So uh, there, there's the, there must not be like a uh, weight difference that some people or some groups have more power than other groups because then the balance is gone. But this is something totally different. But if you really look at how he's managing, this is probably what the deeper ground is of how he manage uh, his companies. Huh? So even somebody in a, who is working in a factory and looks at a machine and thinks, hey, that that screw is not needed. And he looks at it, yeah, it's not really not needed. Maybe we can do it if we, we now use three screws, but if we change it a little bit, we only need two screws. Now, try to do that in a company to, uh, uh, to, to change the whole automated street from three, to three screws to two, it's not possible. Management meetings, it takes, if you can take it, maybe you have to wait for new three new car function uh, versions and uh, it takes you five years to change those, uh, those, those, those screws. But his idea was that if somebody sees this, we try to do it as fast as possible. We pre-program the machines, the holes were different. We save one screw and one drill. Now, you calculate for one million uh, cars, it will be millions of dollars. So this small thing that people see has a very big influence if you do mass production and what he also saw. And I, this is what you can see in SpaceX and what you can see in Tesla and everywhere else. Right? This is this agile team. There's somebody, uh, maybe a secretaress or somebody who's walking, sees something and can influence the whole production of the whole company. This is in, if you look at Japan or in wherever, this is not possible in any company. Right? Just imagine that somebody at the reception has an idea for a lawyer company. Well, if we do this, if we change these documents and we do it a little bit different, it's much easier to do or we, they will not listen to that. It's just a receptionist. Uh, we studied, we have these papers and be ignored. But maybe they are losing millions of dollars per year or billions of dollars per, per 10 years because they didn't listen to this receptionist. And this is the, 
the thing that I think uh, Elon Musk very fast uh, recognized in his companies and the way of working, maybe himself, he found out that this is the way and he pushed it in this whole whole uh, DNA of his companies that everybody can change everything. And he listens to everybody because if everybody listens to everybody, they will also listen to him because he's one of the people. In so he, his position was also easier that he will take serious because he is if he wants to be taken serious, he has to take everybody else also serious. And this is maybe also some ethical problem. And this comes all about books. This is all about history, what I already said. Hey, you respect somebody, this is the ethos of uh, the storytelling. Hey, just if you have time, just look at storytelling. The, 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 you can see the Bible or some holy books. You look at Star Wars, Star Trek, all these storytellings of, of how a story is written or how an, 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 the, the background of a story, or how a universe is created, or how a legacy is created, or how a myth is created. or uh, you can see the, the Nordic gods, the Greek gods, or the Hindu gods. All there is a legacy there. And these stories and this, this, this concept is all the same. And he does it also, he will put it in his companies. Uh, how do I know that? Because I'm writing books. So I see also very quickly, and I'm looking a lot at television series, they have always the same thing. Eh? The hero, the underdog will come up, struggle against the, the establishment sticks his head out, gets up, but then he takes revenge and then he becomes, he can show off and he changes it. This, this struggle in a storytelling, he is doing in real life. Yeah. So he doesn't, he is not afraid of criticism at Twitter of that people don't like him or he's put down or he loses almost all his money because he thinks if I'm at the right, if I'm right, at the end I will win. Or, if he also, if he will lose everything, he still can make enough money to eat and to drink and to survive. It is not him about that he earns money and can sit on somewhere on a chair in a privately owned uh, island somewhere and enjoy life. He wants to be known later in history as the man that changed humanity. And that you cannot do if you're sitting on a, with a cocktail somewhere on a beach. And that is his motivation of, of uh, behind Elon Musk. So he, that is why he's always motivated. And listen, if you are motivated to do things, to achieve things, your brain will work at a higher speed. Uh, in my previous talks about AI, I said, if you get motivated, you like to do something, you like to do tennis, you become better in tennis. If you like to program, you become better in program. So it, the, all the things that he is do, he is obsessed. And he can be uh, obsessed of multiple things and this is maybe one of the things that because this savant thing is always interested in things he's like uh, we call it in japan otaku uh, this is nice this is nice technical oh whoa, 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 whoa. make a joke nobody understands maybe himself not but he's always in a funny state and he's always motivated to go for it if he uh if doesn't something doesn't want he's pushing it that it will work and else he will give up and say, let's do it another way. But he's always enthusiastic. He is always positive and he's always, he knows at the end it has to work, but this is the hero story. Yeah? Uh, sometimes it doesn't work, then you go to another side or you do it from another direction. You try to do it again. Eh? If uh, <laughs> the starship, he blowed up the concrete and destroyed some cars, people, well, okay, uh, maybe we had to do the, the water dealer system. Now, now he's building a water dealer system. Maybe does it work. Maybe uh, we have to launch them in uh, C. Yeah, the C platforms he broke up. Maybe we have to rebuild them. It doesn't matter. At the end, it will work. And that is the goal. It is not the, 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 the disappointment at the momentary disappointment is something you have to step over. Of course, if you don't have enough money, what he had with Selva 9, you can only launch once. People helped him. This is, uh, the big, he sees his big friends and really support and people believe in him. And also with Tesla also going bankrupt and then uh, BMW helped them to survive. And he sees that as a, I will help them later. And I think also that is uh, the truth. So the nature of humans, he still thinks is good because he, if he really thought now <laughs> this is the end, he's had some luck or somebody helped him. So I hope people will still do this and still support them. And there are not uh, enough Tesla fans there out there and uh, rich people that, that also will support him. Because if we can always keep on pushing that he doesn't give up, if he fails or something, you will see that he will be motivated to find a way to do it. And that will not help uh, you as an investor, but it will help humanity. And we as people also have to think, as uh, we have to have a lesson from Elon Musk. Huh? We have to have the lesson that we we can always we can 
give Elon Musk a brick that he can uh, use to make a platform to lift up whole humanity. And this is also what the engineers and people that work for Elon Musk think. Uh, we are the brick lay we give him the brick layers or we are the giving the making the bricks that he can build a platform that he can pull up the whole humanity on a higher level of existence. It, he is the guy who is the architect to say, okay, the these bricks has to be there, we have to do it like this. And then, that is the only task. But if somebody knows it better, he listens, he changes it. It is like the pyramids building. Huh? Guys, I think this is maybe how the pyramids were built. The pyramids were built with people. And at the end, you had something that stands there for thousands of years, uh, 3,000 years or maybe 4,000 years, maybe 10,000 years. I don't know how old the pyramids are. But is, this is exactly what, what Elon Musk wants to put. He wants to put something in the history books that will be remain all history. Everybody that will, will, will live in the future will remember of oh, Elon Musk. Yeah, it is like, ah. That's like Ford or like uh, the inventor of uh, whatever. He will be known as the person that pulled uh, humanity into space, into Mars. We pulled uh, the electric car, uh, the electric uh, electrification of humanity. Uh, maybe AI. It will be the guy who, who pushed AI to a safer platform that now makes everything possible. I think that is his goal. Some people will be jealous. I think a lot of people will be jealous of what he is doing. And uh, you see that uh, Steve, uh, what is it, uh, Bill Gates, uh, uh, you see uh, uh, Jeff uh, Bezos, uh, maybe other people, uh, they want to be also in the, in, the, in the light, they want to be it, they want to be important, but they only think about now, about uh, a moment of fame. But Elon Musk is thinking about far in the future, of hundreds of years, that he still be remembered. So this is totally different. And I think... Uh, if I would be very rich, I would support also Elon Musk because what he can do, and especially what he is doing on different platforms and combining them all, eh? because it is so a big advantage that you are a car maker, but also you make telecommunications uh, internet system, but also make uh, the, the rockets that launch those things and even are planning to make civilization on Mars and also is busy with Neuralink and AI. He started uh, to start open AI. If you can, if you're very rich and you, you did your thing, you built your software and you became a millionaire, you want to do, the, you cannot do it again. A lot of people have just this one day fly, they make something and then they try to do it again and it's very difficult. Why don't you help Elon Musk or somebody who can do it? Support, give him support. And I think that Larry Anderson, this guy from Oracle, I think that it is somebody like him, and he is very uh, KBC or very difficult to work with. But if he finds somebody, he's think, okay, this guy, that maybe think Elon Musk, that is a guy who will help him, and that's also his goal. Hmm? He can be there on the back end, supporting him, let him do the work. But he becomes rich, maybe the fourth richest person in the world. But maybe Larry Ellison does not even care about it. He has his own goals. And we don't know because he's very close off. Uh, he's not so uh, flamboyant as uh, Elon Musk. Because I think Elon Musk used his flamboyancy to keep him motivated to all those things. And also the interaction with, you, uh, with humans, what they want to get this feedback. And um, some uh, uh, people don't want it. Some people want it, like uh, Bill Gates, to start do something and want to have feedback. But if the feedback is back, they just ignore it. But Elon Musk has let it come. And, maybe, and, and, and Larry Anderson, I think he shuts down, doesn't do anything, and just does his thing. But I think some people behind Elon Musk is, pu is pushing him, uh, of helping him when he is down, or uh, if it's just going good, they, they talk with him. And I think those people are very important for Elon Musk. And they are there. And I think, I, uh, I hope there are more people or more uh, people that can support him. Because I think this is just the beginning. Uh, he is all, almost the same age as me. I think he has a nice 30 years to go. And uh, because it is like an, uh, an uh, uh, it goes up crazy, I have to look at the uh, charts. Because it goes up crazy, the, the technology, they look at just AI, how fast those developments goes. And just imagine if those AIs start to develop hardware or develop things, it means that maybe cars will be developed much faster or medicines will be fast, more faster development. Uh, if AI really gets loose, it really gets the, get into it. All other technologies will also change very, very rapidly. So we have to also be prepared for that. And he, we, he needs more people and maybe more. We have to find more Elon Musks 
and maybe we, there, there are not more Elon Musk. There is maybe a possibility that there are not so many Elon Musk out there. Maybe there are, and I hope that they will become friends or keep friends, or they are not like uh, trying uh, to like what Ella, what uh, Jeff Bezos did with uh, uh, with uh, returning uh, the first uh, first uh, stage back on the ship that he was trying to sue uh, uh, Elon Musk for it. Stop that, all those. It goes about humanity. If uh, Jeff Bezos want to make a space station civil, a space station in, 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 in out there, and want to push industry and humanity into space, but in space stations, and Elon Musk wants to do it on planets, doesn't matter. You need spaceships. So help each other. Give uh, uh, Elon Musk your resources and things to help him to make better and cheaper uh, spaceships. And he will of course will help you with building a space station in 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 in, in, in out there eh? and you can work maybe together for the for the uh, surviving system eh? the, the oxygen system watering system maybe the, the plants or the, the food production eh? the food production on the planet is almost the same as in a space station uh, if it makes its own gravity eh? and it's still the technology of so why don't work together because there is a big enough market out there eh? big enough market for Jeff Bezos, for, 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 for Bill Gates, and there's a big enough market for, for Elon Musk and other people. Huh? There's a big enough market for Ford, uh, Chrysler, Toyota, and all those car companies, there are maybe 20 or 30, very big ones, and they don't even, it doesn't matter if they are number one or number, or number five, they are still have money, they are living good, they employ a lot of people, they help humanity, yeah, the cars help humanity to travel around all around the places that's very difficult, eh? imagine you have to do everything with walking or with a, or with, with a horse, so those companies will help each other, of course they were fighting together to be number one, they one invented the diesel motor, one the, the, the other uh, the gasoline motor, one has the transmission, some patents, but in reality is that really so important? At the end, it's not that important. It is uh, there is a market is good enough for everybody, and that's also think how Elon Musk thinks. Uh, the, 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 these these modes are not interesting. That's why he's give, uh, he's helping the charging for Ford and GM. Everybody can charge all these machines. He doesn't mind for that. And that's why I want to end. I think people have to see it in a different light. It means also if you want to invest in uh, in the companies of Elon Musk, uh, look out for. Uh, for royal coast because he will be up and down and up and down. But in the end, I think if it does go, yeah, everything can go broke. But in the end, it, 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 it's just, he is so smart that he will refinance his stuff and at the end will will make uh, the company successful. Uh, but also remember, every every company goes at the end broke and will disappear from the market. So everything has an end and can be that it will be a new company or somebody else will take it over. But I think in our lifetime, it is, I think, a very good opportunity to, to support this person, uh, Elon Musk, in his uh, way of working and his dreams. And I think also these dreams are also our dreams of engineers and other people. Uh, just look a little bit, uh, look, step over his politics or what you think, but look at his end goals, what he wants to reach. Uh, he wants to help humanity. Is it not what we... We are humanity, so he wants to help you and me, almost a religion, <laughs> but this is the, the fact. So I think that uh, listening to the, the interviews about Elon Musk uh, last times is there are people always asking the same questions, always uh, he gives all interviews, 80% is the same answers. So I hope people will give some other things.